So this is a drill bit that I found at the scrap yard. It still seems mostly sharp. It has a Morse taper on it that fits this perfectly, but I need this to fit the chuck on my drill press so I can drill a hole with it. So I've lined it up and seems like it's pretty straight. At least it's straight enough for me. I'm going to see if I can cut a straight half inch area on that for a chuck to fit on and then later on I can still use it with the lathe because I do have this so it's not too bad. Now a little bit of oil goes a long way. Ooh, that's a lot. Use a tailstock trying to make this as straight as possible. So I'm sitting it at that because that's, I believe, half an inch, I half an inch high speed steel. The space needs to be turned down as well. Okay. Wind kitchen, the door scared me. Okay, this is actually going really well. I feel bad for doing this, but oh well. Close, very close.
one more pass. I'm going to be honest, I've kind of stopped caring about surface finish. Now I'm just interested in actually making things. one hand so I'm actually using the uh, small increment dial to move it instead of the big like fast one because there's there's actually two dials on the front of this lathe and one of them is a very fine adjustment so one very fast adjustment and I'm guessing this is what it's for but that's why it's very stop and go for me because I'm adjusting my hand because I having to use my other hand to tension the belt <laughs> oh well These uh, shorter cuts might be better. You know, I think from now on I'm going to start grabbing every little drill bit I see at the scrapyard. Because that's just really nice. Alright, so... Should I go more or should I not? It's a good question. Let me see how far... You know, I should have seen how far this, these go into the chuck. So on that Jacob's chuck, it only goes that far into the chuck. That's not very good. And on my lathe chuck, it goes in quite far. It's better. I'm tempted to cut off the end of that, honestly. I seriously am. I'm running up against this end piece here. So I'm, yeah, I will cut that off then. I've decided that I shall. That's pretty much perfect. I'm going to go out there. It'll be a little tight in the chalk, but that is fine.
Okay, so now Oops. I think I should try a saw. Oh no. There. is like a parter or whatever it's called for actually cutting the piece off. There we go. Take off the edge. That's going nowhere. Oh right, because I'm going backwards. That's why. <laughs> Never mind. It's hard to tell sometimes. I'll try a little bit of sandpaper to help clean this up. What have I done? Probably ruined a perfectly... Where the hell is my tool? Look at that. By the way, this was too good to pass up at the scrapyard. Just, it's a shame that I'm only doing this because I lost my other drill bit that already had a smaller shank on it, but oh well. Oof. Ah, it fits. Yes. I'm very happy with that. I'm glad it isn't too tight. I imagine the end is going to be rather wobbly though, so we'll see. Oh, not bad. I mean, not bad for what I'm used to. I would call that straight. I can't believe that worked. I definitely learned a few things today. And now I have a drill bit that can work on some Jacob's chucks. It would have been so nice to have that Morse taper on there though, but I need to get these I need to get these drilled and my end mills just wouldn't cut it. much headache. No! I refuse! It should have fit! I thought I measured it! Fuck! <laughs> 